I didn't. We didn't see That's her for two weeks. That's a lie. I don't care what you say, bro. On my mama, bro. In this video, a lady collapses in a courtroom and you won't believe why. Please be seated. Sit down. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This that ain't locked. Jerome. Bridge v. Tidwell. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Ron. Hey. Ms. Lockridge, you've dragged the defendant, Mr. Tidwell, to court because he has refused to acknowledge your 10-month-old son, King. You are 100% sure he's the father and claim today's results will prove your case. Mr. Tidwell, you say you were never in a serious relationship with Ms. Lockridge and you were mm. stunned when she told you she was pregnant. The timing leads you to suspect that Baby King's father must be another man. Oh. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lockridge, tell me about Mr. Tidwell's relationship with your son. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Tidwell does not have a relationship with my son. The only time he's actually seen my son is when I've made it a convenience for him and brought him to him. That means traveling four hours on bus, driving two hours on the car to drive to him. He hasn't helped with diapers. He barely helped with any clothes, and it hurts. It's frustrating. He named my son King. And how am I supposed to raise a king? And he's not there. You named him King, Mr. Tidwell? Yes, Your Honor. But you don't have a relationship with him? Nope. Because, uh, Your Honor, I think she's more wants me to be the dad than she really believes I'm the dad. She's obsessed with me. <laughs> and she's done obsessed a lot of different you. things to <laughs> make me feel like I'm not the father. She's left town. She's left me with the baby for weeks. It was not a she's, week. She has to communicate with me. She, uh, she has you. other men around. But men. you named the child. She gave me the right to do that. She talked to me. I wasn't there at the birth. She only called me when she had the baby. So take me back to this relationship. I want to understand all There was no relationship. Talk to me. Just what? Casual Yes. Oh! The worst kind. We were on and off for six years. We were together for I, my understanding, how he led me to believe I was single or I was with him in a committed relationship for at least a year. That's a And then I real. I was my side, my personal opinion. We That's were together you. for a year. That's you. We've been messing around. Okay, well, anyways, we were to, we've been messing around for six years. I did leave for a two-year period because I had to get my life back on track. You had another kid. Anyways, who could be yours? That's not next. mine. It's... Anyways, we were... Two kids could be his? You had to get your life on track? Being with him ruined your life? Why are you with his raggedy-headed ass? <laughs> What's going on? It was casual sex after the first year. That first year, I was dedicated. Die Hard Man fan. Remember that? No. Yeah, Die Hard Man fan. I was smooth his, nobody else's, until I realized he was nothing for me. He was not my future. And I kept thinking, yeah, I do love him. I see potential in him. I see what he could be, but the fact that he doesn't want to step up to be the good man that he could be, that's your loss. But now I got a son. He needs his father. And I hope he finds Mr. it. Mr. Tidwell. You said she's done some things... What? ...that make you feel like you weren't the only person she was sleeping with at the time... I wasn't, ...King was conceived. Tell the court. She has another guy that she was sleeping with. During the time that you were having sex with Ms. Lockridge, mm -hmm. were you aware of anyone else she was involved with sexually? Not personally, but, um... We weren't there was nobody else. We weren't Snoop. I'm not gonna drive, I'm not gonna ride the bus four we hours. We were not take in a three buses to come sleep with you if I got that in my backyard like though. It was just really sex and have you seen it. me though? And yeah, Chad, look at her. You think if she had other men, she would be driving four hours on a bus to come get some of that forehead? You see what's going on. So how did you find out she was pregnant? She came over to my house. We, we hung out. The next day, I see a, a piece of paper on my bed. I grab it. I looked at it. It was a note with an ultrasound in it. What did the note say? I, I don't, I'm not sure the exact words of the note, but it said that she didn't know how to tell me this. And she's sorry she didn't tell... She had to tell me like that. So I call her. She didn't answer the phone. She ended up leaving me a text message saying that she was sorry and that she didn't know how to tell me that she was pregnant. All right, so that's one week after you had sex with her, she left you a note. Yes. That's a lie. And, and you had the ultrasound picture. She I have this reaction in front of your brother when I find out I'm finally pregnant, I finally get something from you. The See only what I'm thing saying, from She's you. obsessed Six with me. She no, I'm not. She something from Bro, me. I got plenty of so them. So she wants me to be her baby's dad more than she's sure. Why that reaction, Miss Lockridge? You believe he's just not telling the truth? 
because I know for a fact that he's his father. I, he was the only one I was said, thinking, Your Honor, I finally we got were, something from him. I was happy that I was pregnant, so I'm not gonna ru ruin that happiness by telling you in front of your brother that I'm pregnant with you when I don't know how you were gonna react, because every time I bring anything to you, you react all negative and I get sideways. When we conceived my child, I told him, I just had my period That's a, week a ago. lie, Your Honor. He said, shut up, and we kept going at it. Oh, That's wow. Why would That's you say lie, something like okay. that? Okay. What the hell? Hey, so in light of that romantic conversation... I know, right? <laughs> wow. You thought that he wanted or didn't mind if he got you pregnant. I mean, he just got another girl pregnant four months prior, and I asked him, what you gonna do about it? He said, if it's mine, then I'm gonna take care of it. So next time I come over, heck yeah, I'm excited. So you hear he got another girl pregnant. Yep. And then it made you excited to be pregnant? No, when I found out I was pregnant, I was excited because I was gonna have his baby. Because... What? Because you just, you loved him. I love him. I have a lot of love for him, but am I in love with him? No, because She's he doesn't treat me the way... Her. I am not obsessed with you. If I was obsessed with you, there wouldn't be nobody else. Oh. Okay. Got that. What is going on? Did she just admit that there's other men? What is going on? I'm not for sure who she has up there trying to be the dad. I need a father for my child, not a dad. You're the dad. You're the sperm donor. I need my son to have a father. All right, I'd like to hear from your mother, Mr. Tidwell. Miss Harrington, will you please stand? Thank Step you. up to the podium. You are Mr. Tidwell's mother. Yes. What do you believe, ma'am? Do you believe this is your grandson? She is very obsessed with my son. I am not obsessed. She, I was in love with him. All she talks about is how much she wants to be with him and how she's got a prayer closet at home for him. One day he's gonna be her husband. Well, you know, this is just obsession, really. But he has admitted mom to mm -hmm. being intimate with and he seems to have made it clear that he does not want to be in a well, relationship if he, with if he you. made it clear so clear then stop calling me back stop texting me stop inviting me over stop letting me come over he want to do the nasty that's why he inviting you over look at his face he like why would i stop calling you <laughs> look at his face even he like that's stupid why would i stop getting some unana his nasty ass Look at his big, freaky, foreheaded ass. You're like, why would I stop calling you? Mr. Tidwell, I mean, you know this woman is making this effort. You know she's coming all this way. You know you're sleeping with her without protection. I mean, if you, you say she's obsessed with you, you feeding the obsession. I'm not leading her on, Your Honor, to think there's no relationship at all. <laughs> Mr. Tidwell, if you believe someone is obsessed with you, or you believe somebody, or you know someone wants to be with you so desperately, oh, and you still let them come see with you... No, it was desperate. But this is my... <laughs> Why did Judge throw a shot? No, that was desperate. Four hours on the bus. <laughs> What is going on? You're not the first woman nor the last that was desperately in love right. with someone. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. We've all loved. Right. And sometimes the person loves us back and sometimes they don't. I said, do you want to spend time with your son because I'm fixing to go take a modeling shoot in Nevada? No, 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 no. That she was just not dropped it. the baby yeah. off. She came to, no, to I visit didn't. and brought him to visit. While she was visiting, she decided to leave. Yes. Okay. Not right. called, there was a... During the visit? Yes, just up yes, left. yes. No, I didn't. We didn't see That's her for two weeks. That's a bullface lie. I don't care what you say, bro. On my mama, bro. I told... On my mama, bro. Why'd she start saying that? Oh, oh wow. Did, that's wow. Two, I asked him specifically, do you want to watch your son? That's do you want to spend Honor. some time with your son? No. If not, I can take him. I believe in Miss Lockridge's mind, she was leaving her child with his father. Mm. But There's nobody else. Miss like, Harrington? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Do you see a resemblance? No. Uh, okay, is that why when you first met him, you told me that if you're I didn't tell you my that. son, that well, you'd him? That. I didn't tell you or that. Or were you just drinking too much? I didn't tell you that, baby. Probably. All right, baby. guys, Probably. let's get back at okay. the... He also deserved... Can I submit one more thing? Absolutely. The birth certificate. There's no dad's name on it. That's all I want today. And if my son's name is King Tidwell, he needs the man that named him King Tidwell to be in his life. You didn't just pick the name King. Mm -hmm. You gave him his last name, too. But yet he's going to deny my son? From your action. You named the child. I gave her the name that I wanted my son to have. Because at that moment, and you she thought... she put it on there. Exactly. Yes, Your Honor. Then later on, you started to believe he was not yes. because of what you heard. No, what I've seen. And actions. what you've seen. 
<laughs> what you've seen. <laughs> okay, the only way we're gonna get down to the bottom of this is to get the results. Smooth. Yeah. Let's go. Ron. Ron don't even have the results. Look how he looking. In the case of Lockridge versus Tidwell, when it comes to 10-month-old King Tidwell, it has been determined by this court you are not his father. What did she say? What did this lady say out her mouth? They don't even bleep curse words as bad as they did that. Are you kidding me? I messed up, man. I'm sorry, baby. She I'm was sorry. with other men. I'm sorry. From the bottom of my broken heart, Wallace Tillwell, I'm sorry. And to your whole family, I apologize. I have no idea who his dad is at this point. We knew that. We knew, we knew that. Look at the mom being messy. We knew that. We knew you ain't know what you got going on. Sorry, but I didn't. I didn't it's sleep. It's okay. I, Tommy. Oh! <laughs> what just happened with her? Is at this point. We knew that. We I'm know sorry, that. but I didn't. I didn't it's sleep. It's okay. I, Tommy. Oh, just. Oh, Ron, get her. <laughs> Ron, get her. Ron, get her. I didn't. I didn't it's sleep. Okay. I, Tommy. Oh, just. Oh, Ron, get her. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Ron, get her. <laughs> Look at her on the floor. Ron, if you don't do something, man. Ron. Gianna, Gianna, calm down, it's okay. <laughs> Look at his ass! What the fuck is going on this episode? Why is he crying like that? Hey, it's a weird Why episode. is he crying? He's not blinking. He got no emotion, just tears. He don't even care, but he's sad. All here. We're all here. We're all here. I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> oh, she drooling. Just sit down, honey. It's okay. It's okay. What are you saying? It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Talk to Anna, <laughs> Did he say, I just don't want to talk about it, mama? What did he say? We handle very serious issues oh, in this Oh, my good. And I think. What we all witnessed today. I am not obsessed with you. If I was obsessed with you, there wouldn't be nobody else. Oh. oh. Okay. Is she truly believed that, Mr. Tedwell, you were her child's father? The truth, sometimes it breaks us down. Mm -hmm. And we need a minute to process it. Mm -hmm. And she needs a minute. Yes. She's with Dr. Jeff Gardier and he is gonna take good care of her. I'm not gonna shun her out. Thank we you. love this baby. You don't love, you, what? This whole episode, she was acting like that lady crazy, now all of a sudden, the lady rational. We, we here for her, we ain't gonna do that to her. You been shunning her, putting her on a bus for four hours, talking about we ain't been gonna shun her.